Oh, it's so bad. It's Look like at raw. It's oh, even his mouth, it's all over. He's red, he's completely raw. He's shaking and everything like that, guys. My fish could have the coronavirus. Joey Slam. All right, Slayer, so we're back out with another Slayer Venture, and today we have a little situation here. We're having a situation. Now, what I usually do every single morning is take a look at my pond and see how everyone's doing. It's not looking good right now because I discovered something that I'm actually very concerned about. All jokes aside, my fish could have the coronavirus. Now, obviously that's not true, but we're joking around about the coronavirus, but look at this red tail full of blood on its face on its head. I have no idea what's going on. We still have our three-step filtration process here. Doing great because everyone's good. I mean, look at this poop. Jeez, kitty has pooped. These are giant turds. So every morning what I go ahead and do is scoop up the poop. And I discovered that wasp, look at this. What a fat turd. She just laid that on the bottom. Here you go. Oh my God. High protein diet with those pellets. Let's just toss that over there. Now, Everyone looks fine. Everyone else doesn't look like they've contracted any sort of virus or anything. And believe it or not, the person that I'm usually most concerned about is the Marble Car Whiskers. And Whiskers looks fine. But our boy right here, the Red Tails, who are usually the hardiest fish, is not looking good. There's blood on his head. I don't know what's going on, but I cannot have that in here. There's blood in the water, therefore it could contaminate this. We're gonna have to redo this entire pond again by doing a 80%, maybe even 100% water change because that is not good after adding all the bacteria, which is like a waste of money. But I do trust my filtration system. And what's really annoying, it's like when I have one healed and it's doing well, another one's gotta go down. It makes no sense. Everybody was here in Harmony several times. I have no idea what the hell is going on. It's gotta be something with the weather. It's really making me mad. But it happens when you have a pond full of predatory fish where fish bully each other and they're very aggressive. But we gotta go ahead and get this guy out. Oh my God, dude, look at that. Just full of blood, full of blood, guys. Dude, he could have some sort of virus or, or something. I just can't have that contract into my other fish. Like, this is my baby right here. I mean, they all are, but like, this is my baby. Now, what I have to do is get this guy out right now. I have a cooler, I'm gonna get everything all set up. I have to get in contact with one of my best friends, either Wild World of Farley or Catch Mall Fishing. They both have lake water ponds. I need to get them in some sort of isolation pond. And we do know that Catch Mall Fishing's place is perfect because Wild World of Farley has a pond full of fish and I don't wanna have him contract any sort of coronavirus to all of his fish. But also we do know that Whiskers was healed at Catamaran's place since he has an isolation pond. And I'm gonna be going on a trip to Brazil and I don't wanna have to be dealing with this, especially while I'm gone, where other people are gonna be taking care of my fish. So I don't know, man, I have no idea. I can't put him in a container. That container that I built has holes. Dude, he's not looking good. So we gotta get this out before he contaminates everybody with some sort of virus. So let me get in contact with one of my friends and see if they can help me out right now. <laughs> what's up, bro? Dude, I have to show you what's going on here, dude. Dude, I think my fish, like all jokes aside, could have the coronavirus, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, look at this fish. Look at him. He's changing colors. It's, yeah, slime coat's like destroyed. Everything's destroyed. So I need your help, dude. It's I like need, it's bleeding, too. It's bleeding everything, the whole nine yards. Dude, I need your help. Um. I gotta take. Get, I gotta get this guy out of here. Possibly put him in a bag of some sorts, like and we can try to figure it out. I have. I have no idea, but I can't risk it. Fish that was kind of like moving to the side, weird, right? Yeah, something like that. I did notice that uh, when we we're working on the filtration system. So, dude, I know you don't have an isolated pond right now, and I don't want to go ahead and put your fish in jeopardy. No, no, so no. I'm definitely. Yeah, I definitely gotta go ahead and get in contact with Catch 'Em All Fishing then to see if he can come over and pick this guy up. It's but we gotta get this guy out right yeah, now sure. and put him into something. Should we use this bag? Or should I use, or should I use my cooler? What do you think? You think the cooler would be easier? I think. Yeah, enough room in the bag. I mean, not to really swim around like that. No. Yeah, let's the cooler. Right? All right, we're gonna go ahead and have to get water out of the pond. I have my pump over there, and yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get this cooler right now. Here's a here's a quick comparison. Like this is a perfectly healthy, happy red tail. Look at that. Nothing wrong with the head. Nothing wrong with the fins. Yeah, only red tail. Only red tail. Exactly. Everything's fine. If we go ahead and walk over here real quick, this guy. Red head. Red head. <laughs> Red everything. He's just not looking good right now, guys. Yeah, not at all. So we gotta... I have no freaking clue, dude. I have no idea. I have no idea. I would think Marvel Car would be getting whooped or anything like that, but everything's okay. Everything's doing fine. Right. No one's doing bad except this guy. Out of the blue. Like, literally out of the blue, 
And I don't even think it has to do anything with the temperature either. Well, it might. We should probably put them in the cooler, add some elephants until we transition them to the new bond. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, cool. That's a good idea. All right, let's go. Um, let's just get this thing going. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're grabbing the cooler right now. We're putting that right here so it's an easy transfer from the pond into there. I'm trying to figure out what might have caused this though. That's no crazy. Idea. The other red tail is fine. Everything else is fine. But it may be contagious. Right now, everyone's wow. good. But look, they're harassing them because they smell blood. You see that? Oh, yeah. They get kitties harassing them. They smell blood. Ooh. Those catfish smell blood. Let's get it moving. That's yeah, why whenever you use like bait or any kind of bait, you use stinky bait. All right. So that's enough. Oh, yeah. It's more than enough. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and put some melon. Oh, grab something to smell it. I have an extra strength right here. This is the professional strength. This should help him out in the meantime until we can get catch him on fishing here and to pick up our guy. So this looks like, honestly, and this one's Robin. Batman's the big one, Robin's the smaller one. And he's not looking good at all. He's losing color, he's losing everything. So guys, I wanted to document this because I have no idea what's going on. I have no clue, no clue. He's bleeding. Now we have to go ahead and actually analyze him as I sweep him out. Out of here. Oh, oh, I gotta fix my net. No, please. Okay. And as you can see, I'm kind of panicking right now because I love my fish and I never like to see them in pain. He looks like he's in pain. All right. And you know me, I'll give away my fish if it means saving them, you know? Because we always get them back, we always help each other out. Oh, look at him swimming away. He's swimming away right now. I gotta stop him. I gotta get ahead of him. Oh, poor guy. He's not even swimming fast. No, it's really lethargic. I just don't want him to touch anything else. Here you go. Oh my god. Mm. Look at that. It's even redder than I thought. Oh, it's so bad. It's Look like at raw. It's oh, even his mouth. It's all over. He's red. He's completely raw. He's shaking and everything like that, guys. Yeah. So we're going to carefully pull him, put him over here and check him out. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at him. All right, guys. So I'm going to take him out of here carefully. Don't fight me. Oh, dude. You shouldn't be able to really touch your fish like this. Easy. He's barely fighting. He's barely fighting. Look at this. Poor guy. I'm going to move this over here. Look at him. Red on the head. Losing coloration. Red on the belly. Red on the mouth. Look at the mouth, yeah. Red on the mouth like and everything. It's like spots almost. Right? It's not looking good, guys. So we're examining him. But look at these bite marks on the side, too. These lesions. Oh, oh. Fish were preying on the weak. Yeah, look at this mark. 100% preying on the weak. You see that? Look at that. All right. So we're going to put him in there. Oh, my God, guys. That's really bad. Like, he's really messed up. His fins, look at him. Every piece of it, it's like blood. It's just straight blood. I need to be careful. I'm not even going to touch your hand, Harley. <laughs> I wouldn't let you. So this is about, I would dare say, 10, 15 gallons. So we're gonna put a little bit of Melifix right now in here. And that'll be sufficient enough. Since this is the pro and extra strength, I'm gonna go ahead and steal this air stone as well from the pond and put it in here. Hold on one second. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. Come on. There you go. You see those bubbles right there, guys? That's the Melifix doing its job and being put to work. So the Melifix is doing its job right now. Now it's up to the red tail to survive, as well as to my job to make sure that all my other fish survive and none of them have contracted whatever the heck that is. Yeah, you know so what I'm saying? Far, so far, everyone, all, everyone else looks fine. So. Everyone looks good. Yeah. Your Destiny sharks look good. Right Where? See that? Oh, it looks like she got bit there. Okay. Something like that. Good eye on that. There's a couple lesions on the marble car as well on the top, but they look like they're healing. Yeah, she's actually doing much better. She's doing a lot better. We have Kitty, who is always looking good. Perpetrator right there. 100% the perpetrator. Whoever looks the best in your pond or tank is usually the one who's doing all the work yeah. and hurting everybody. Everyone's over there. You guys already saw that the other red tail Batman's doing fine. Yeti's doing good. And the iridescent sharks are doing good. I think he's going to do well in the 100%. I, mean, I take them, it's just I don't have any isolated ponds. Yeah. Just have fresh Constant fresh flowing water. Right, exactly. So one of the lower levels that catch them on fishing has would be perfect. I think it would be absolutely ideal because we saw how bad Whiskers was and Whiskers was a lot worse than this guy. So it's just weird. It's like once one person's okay, 
Another one goes down. I have no idea what's going on. Kitty's probably hurting fish, weakening them, and that's causing them to pretty much end up how they are. That's what I think so too. I think also what I'm gonna invest or get into is I'm gonna get a whole bunch of driftwood, bro. That'd be cool. I think I'm gonna just do it. Yeah, just driftwood and structure, some cover, because I'm tired of having to deal with this, man. I just want my fish to be happy. So I'm gonna be talking to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. He did something in here on his pond that I helped design with him, and his fish are doing fine. Absolutely fine. So, all right, cool. We're gonna go ahead and check in once Catch Em All Fishing comes over and takes care of our fish. All right, guys, so the fish is looking super, super stressed out in this bin, even after all the treatments and everything, and I want it to get even more stressed out here. So while we're waiting for Catch Em All Fishing, I'm gonna pick this guy back up really quick, really quick, really quick, and then add him back in here. Look at him, it's not looking so good, but in here we'll have more space to swim, and he'll be free swimming while we're waiting for Catch Em All Fishing to come and check out our fish. All right, Slayers, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. It's a gloomy day for a very gloomy time with our fish. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Go ahead and check out my friends, Catch Em All Fishing and Wild World of Farley. We are very, very adamant in helping each other whenever we have a situation that involves our fish. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next Slay Venture. Booyah.